you know what guys I'm sorry for the road noise but um, I'm Morton LB0 Fox India and you're watching LB0 Fox India Norwegian Adventures I'm on my way to work and I really want to get my wind link fix on and um, how will I do that well I need to stop and charge the car so um, I'm gonna take a look in my bag when I stop and see if there's any way I can get my wind link fix on I'll be right back. Of course, on charge here, so, um, why don't we take a look in the radio bag and see what I can use to get my wind link fix on. So what are the key components we need to get wind link running? First of all, we need a radio. Let's see if I got that. What did you know? I got a bow thing here. Secondly, we need some way of interfacing the bow thing with a computer. And I got my digirig kit here. And thirdly, we need a computer. So let's see what's inside here. When did you know? I got a laptop here. Almost so you'd think I'd be prepared for this. And antenna-wise, I probably could have used the standard Baofeng antenna where I am. But I'm going to hook it up to the antenna on the car, though, just to have a little bit more of a success. Let's get everything hooked up, take a look at the equipment, and see if we can get our wind link fix on. So, setup-wise here, we got the uh, Lenovo X230 laptop here. And that's hooked up to my Baofeng and the Digirig over there. So, let's see if we can get a packet session going and uh, get some wind link emails going. And the first thing we're going to do, you can see I got wind link up. You can see that down in the corner here, I'm not connected to the internet. We're gonna do a packet wind link session just because there are no VARA FM connections nearby here. Let's uh, press the open session here. That brings up sound modem, which is a software TNC here in order to get the package running. And we're gonna adjust the volume. If you can take a look at the waterfall here, we're gonna adjust the volume of the Baofeng until it's almost in the green, a little bit in the red, and most of the spectrum here. We are gonna find a node. So we're gonna go to channel selection here. We're gonna choose LA1T-10, which is relatively nearby. Uh, check the radio. Radio's at 144.925. And uh, we're going to press start and see what happens. And you can see in the uh, sound mode window that uh, there are some stuff happening. We are connected. Let's see if I got any Winlink emails. I got a, one email here. So let's see what that says when it's downloaded. Takes a little while, but I mean, it's email without using local internet. That's pretty amazing in itself. We are almost disconnected. We are disconnected right now. Let's check the inbox here. You see that there's an email from me saying, aren't you glad you checked your win link? And then it says, if you didn't, you wouldn't have seen this message now. I sent this to myself because I planned some a little bit ahead. I'm a little bit prepared, although not always. So that is how easy you can do wind link on the road and i mean if i wasn't inside my car i probably could have done this the rubber ducky on the bow thing and you know what that whole process took me about four minutes my car is almost charged up to the point where i want it to be charged up i've checked my wind link email and i'm good to go 
So I'm guessing you guys want to know how I set this thing up. And don't worry, I'm going to show you that in a later video, probably my next video. So make sure you're subscribed in order to see that. And in addition to subscribing, I'd like it if you hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below. And if you really want to, there are some, some ways to support the channel down below as well. Besides that, do remember the European Ham Radio Show every Sunday on the European Ham Radio Show channel here on YouTube. Link down below. And until next time, my friends, 7-3. Thank you.